I love my Panasonic G85 mirrorless interchangeable lens camera that I have inside this bag. This is the camera that I have been using for making all these YouTube videos, mostly all of YouTube videos on, on my channel. It's the Amazon Basics bag that I reviewed. Uh, God, I don't know how many years ago now, maybe almost five, six years ago now that I got this bag. And see, here is the Panasonic right there, the G85, the Lumix. They, I bought it, it came with the kit lens right here. I think it's um, a 12 to 60 millimeter kit lens. And then I have these other lens that I have um, that came with my Yi mirrorless camera. But we're going to compare this to a new camera that I got from Best Buy because right now Best Buy is already having their their early Black Friday deals and this is what I got. So the two items that I got, it should be no stranger. This first one right here is probably came out like a year, almost a year ago during a pandemic. This is the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera, digital video camera. And uh, you probably have already seen it. It's got a lot of tons of uh rave review so i'm kind of like late to the party with this one and then i also got it with the vlogging kit so right now on uh best buy the body by itself is like uh the camera by itself is like 750 like 748 so that's you know 750 and then the vlogging kit is like 149 which is you know rounded out 150 but they have a special right now where if you get the you can get both of them for just $800. So you're saving $100 right there. I was going to wait after I got the notification from Best Buy, my Best Buy app yesterday. But then I decided, you know what? Who knows? People might get this because it's been so heavily reviewed. There's been a lot of tons of videos on it on YouTube. I might as well get it now just in case they don't have it. So I, I got it. I ordered it like Sunday night and it came to me today, which is Monday night. It actually came to me Monday afternoon. I got around 1 in the afternoon. At, right out as I was uh, stepping out the door to go to work or to train a client. So like I said, my Panasonic Lumix G85, I love this camera. And uh, it takes really great videos and pictures. Panasonic, I think we're one of the first uh, mirrorless cameras or companies to uh, start doing um, 4K video on their still cameras or their you know regular cameras i'm pretty sure it is either panasonic or sony one of the japanese companies or are they all japanese companies anyways and i love this camera i like it better than my phone even though i have a samsung galaxy s21 ultra that i'm recording this video with right now i think the quality on here is better with these cameras but the quality and the pictures and videos are really good only when they are in focus and that's the biggest issue i have with this g85 is it's uh till this day um it still does not focus fast enough for you know for shooting video especially for shooting like product videos or like workout videos this does not focus um fast enough and so and that is the strength of the sony zv1 is it has the best autofocus and it has that feature called product showcase mode where it uh you know focuses on the product you're trying to show really quickly between you or the product that you're trying to show and vice versa and so that's why i got this so I also want to make a quick disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with Best Buy in any way. I paid for this with my own hard-earned money. And believe me, <laughs> I'm going to be paid for it big time. There's tons of videos on this uh, camera already and probably also on the vlogging kit. I don't know how I'm going to make it different. Maybe we could like focus on the boxes for the unboxing. huh? So here is the box for the vlogger kit right here. As you can see, it shows a picture of the camera. You also get a free, I guess, a 64 gigabyte uh, SD card, regular SD card. And here on the left side are the grip features, as you can see. And then the features in um, another language, which I 
guessing is either Spanish or French. If you guys know, correct me in the uh, comment section below. Here are the specs of this uh, grip, the camera grip. And here on the uh, right side is just a picture of how you could use the grip. It, it, it also works as a mini tripod and it's also Bluetooth remote control, as you can see. There's tape right here that we have to cut. Okay, got the tape cut and uh, let's open it up. Hmm. Right here at the very, very top, as you guys can see, is... Uh, your quick start guide I guess although this part right here is like in yeah this part is in I, I want to say it doesn't look like Spanish to me <laughs> I'm gonna say it's in French and then right here it's a uh, is in English camera grip pairing guide so it's the quick start guide it says unlock before you start there you go Okay, one, two, three, four, five, five instructions or five um, distinct orders or something. I don't know. See, the other unboxing videos didn't show that, did they? Not that I could tell that I've seen. And then I, well, okay. So inside the box also <clears throat> on this is the... Uh, here it is, the 64 gigabyte SD card, UHS-2. So it should be pretty fast for shooting, you know, uh, 4K video. Read, it's 270. Uh, write speeds are 700 or 70 megabits per second. There you go. That's going to come in really handy. And then here is the camera tripod grip itself, as you can see. Yeah. Model number is GPVPT2BT. The BT is probably for Bluetooth. Sony has really funky um, naming schemes. They should have just called it the Mini Tripod Remote Control Grip or something. Or Mini Tripod, that's it. Mini Bluetooth Tripod, you know? But they have to name it this GPVPT2BT. Shooting Grip with Wireless Remote Commander. There you go. And uh, here on the front is the uh, grip and then uh, like shallow or like almost invisible picture of the camera that you can use it with any of the Sony cameras, I imagine. Because this is not, this does not look like the ZV-1 right here. And then here on the left side is, uh, what is this? It's some kind of a, like how do you use it? Maybe instruction quick instruction guide right there on the side Let's see change the shooting direction so yes yeah, some of the features change the stable tripod mode or whatever and then easy zoom and movie stills and stuff like that there you go you can uh, pause that and read it for yourself uh, the back is just a bunch of like I don't know what these are specs in different languages and things like that and then this is what you get in the box the shooting grip and what is this one uh is this a bag a pouch for the grip so let's open it up this box is really tight so right here the grip is very well protected in a uh, bubble wrap You get like how many instruction manuals in different languages? How many? Yeah. How many instruction manuals do you get? Okay, one is all in like Chinese or Japanese. And then you got these two with the different languages, as you can see. Just toss those aside. And then here's your uh, pouch. Um, it's a soft, like, 
felt or microfiber pouch for the grip. That's pretty nice. And then here is your battery. Okay. And then the actual grip itself, it seems like it has some pretty good weight. Um, is this metal or plastic? It kind of feels a little bit like metal on this end. But yeah, this part right here, you could clearly tell is, is plastic. But it's it's very well constructed as far as like the build. It seems very sturdy and uh, yeah, very solid. Like you could probably kill someone or hurt someone with this if you wanted to. It's got some pretty good weight to it too. But not too heavy, but heavy enough. On the grip, you can see where it has these controls for photo, for movie, and then um, W and T. So maybe like, you know, for bringing it in wide out or bring it in, you know, to bring the picture in. And there's the lock switch. And then your, I guess the C1, that's probably a mode switch. I'm not sure. But I like how the buttons are clearly like easy to feel out and they stick out a little bit so you you know where they're at. Especially this toggle like for f wide and close up the lock. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Okay. And like, like we said, it also doubles as a tripod. So that's good. Alright, so that is the uh, GPVPT2BT uh, grip from Sony. Alright, now let's look at the star of the show. The Sony ZV-1. So, looking at the box, let's say this is the top. You have a picture of the camera with its uh, dead cat or wind, wind muff wind filter. And you can see that it has an articulating screen, so you can turn it around for, you know, for vlogging and selfies, because that's what this is made for. And then right here is the top of the camera. As you can see, there's the microphone right there. On, let's say, the front part of the box. On the, uh, on my left side of the box is uh, supplied accessories, what you get. You get the rechargeable battery, uh, micro USB cable, and what is that? A, a windscreen. There you go. And here, it shows you some of the accessories that you can use it with. And there's the grip that we I just showed you right here. The GPVPT2BT. Right here on the back side of the uh, box is all your features so you can pause that and read it for your so yeah let's open it up I told you guys that um, there were other videos there's tons of videos on this camera already so I'm gonna make my video a little different by going into detail with the unboxing as far as uh, the box and the contents the look of the box in the features and stuff like that. So up top, we get the warranty card, right? Yeah, warranty. Limited warranty, as you guys can see. US and Canada only, good for one year. Uh, Register your product for a chance to win a 1000 Visa prepaid card. A uh, quick reference guide. Accessories right here. You scan that code. See all the accessories you can use with the ZV-1. And here is the 
more detailed manual, I guess, for the camera in, I guess, yeah, see, French and English. And then, uh, and then this is probably the quick start guide right here. So the manual is like this thick, and then the quick start guide is just a little bit thinner. Okay, so inside, underneath all of those papers and paperwork, is the camera covered in um, eco wrapping, paper wrapping. And the camera at first blush um, feels pretty solid. At first hold feels pretty solid. And here is the screen. I don't know why the screen is this way though. Sure enough, the screen been facing the other way where it's like protected from scratches like that. That's weird. Unless it's there's a screen protector on here. Which I don't I don't really I can't really tell if there is a screen protector on that screen but we'll get back to the camera and walk through it um wow they weren't kidding when they were saying the battery life is not that good this is a very tiny battery so i'm, I'm gonna have to order some more batteries for this so here it is lithium eon npbx1 and see this is exactly why i got the sony because you see even on my smartphone it it's not even focusing as well on my Samsung. Let's see if I get more light so it can focus. 3.6 volt, 4.5 watt hours, 12,040 milliamp hours. There you go. Yeah, that's a really tiny battery. I mean, this is about like no a little bit bigger then a quarter I can see why the battery life is not that long and then right here is the uh, wind muff or uh, windscreen wind dead cat is what people call it that's kind of sad how they call it a dead cat I like cats I want to call it a dead cat so here it is it's nice and soft Hello. And then, of course, your uh, micro USB charging cable. That's the only not negative on this. And it came out like last year, a year ago. It's is it's micro USB instead of uh, USB C, which all new products with the charging cable should be right now USB C. So that is that's its only weakness. So you don't have to carry that many cables and stuff like that when you're out and about and traveling. So that's the charging cable and that is pretty much it. So before we end this video, let's uh, walk through the camera. So right here is the lens, of course. It says Zeiss uh, Vario Sonar. And uh, what was it again? It was a 20... Yeah, 20 to 70 millimeter lens, something like that. There's your Zeiss branding right here. There's your aperture 1.8 to 2.8. A lot of people say that because um, when you go to 4K, uh, it really it crops um, the picture. I don't think I'll have a problem with the crop picture because I'm not going to, I don't plan to do a lot of blogging with this. Usually, I just want to do pictures at the gym for my workouts. So I'm not going to be, it's going to be put on a tripod like this, wink, wink. And then... Um, you know, for showcasing some of the products I have for reviews, like my Bluetooth earbuds or my smartphone cases and things like that. So, yeah, I don't think I'll have a problem with the uh, cropped in look that they're talking about or, or the, the one complaint that they have on this camera. And right here are all your functions and controls and stuff like that. Right here on the bottom, it actually where this screen is it says zv1 xmr and then 4k right here on the bottom is the battery tray and right now it's at the lock position and i guess this is for your sd card slot right there 
so you unlock it and that thing just pops up and uh, let's put the battery in and see if there's a charge let's see which way does it go okay so there's an arrow on the battery I don't know if you guys can see that right there so I'm thinking it goes this way and then right there it just snapped in locked into place put it back on lock boom and uh, let's see if there's any power. Okay, so there is. As you guys can see right there, screen looks pretty nice, at least indoors it does. It seems pretty bright. It looks like an AMOLED screen. It could be an OLED screen just because it's small. You can make OLED screens like this. I don't know if it's touch. Is it touch? It is not a touch screen unless you're doing focusing. So I'm going to set that up. So there is battery enough to set up the uh, camera. And see, as, as soon as you close the uh, viewfinder, the camera turns off. You open it up and it turns right back on. As you guys can see, I if I close it, it turns the camera off automatically so it'll save the on battery on that and because you won't forget oh my gosh did I turn it off or not because yeah it turns off automatically without the power on and off switch that are up that's on top here there's the big record button mode button um, I don't know what this is probably for like wide panoramic shoots that button and uh, another, your wide and close up toggle or button. Okay. And then, of course, up here is the microphone. And then to put the uh, wind filter, wind noise filter, I guess um, it goes through this thing, right? The dead cat goes on to here. How does that work? Okay. I see it. So you go here. And uh, put it in like so. And now you have wind filter reduction or wind noise reduction, as you guys can see. Okay, so that is it for our unboxing of the uh, Sony ZV-1 vlogging kit that you can get at Best Buy right now. For a special, like you save a hundred dollars on the whole vlogging kit. Like I said, normally this this grip and the SD card kit, which is this thing right here, would cost a hundred and fifty dollars, and then the camera by itself is like seven hundred and fifty dollars. So seven hundred and fifty plus one fifty is what nine hundred dollars. And right now you can get them both for like $799 or $800 uh, for their Black Friday deal on Best Buy. And like I said, I'm not affiliated with Best Buy. I paid for these on my own. And uh, so far, so good. I, I like the quality of the grip and the uh, camera itself, although I haven't taken any pictures yet. But if you've guys seen all the videos on this ZV-1, it's, it's a good camera. And I think I'll be happy with it. And it's going to do a better job at focusing than my uh, Samsung S21 Ultra. And especially better at focusing than my um, Lumix. Although I will do um, comparisons with my Lumix G85 right here. With the stock lens, kit lens. If you guys have any comments or questions about this kit, please leave them in the comments section below. And uh, stay tuned, I will do updates like this week way ahead of the review that i will do for this camera if you guys have made it this far thank you guys all for watching thank you for your patience thank you for your support if you guys are interested in this kit i will um 
if I can find any links, I'll put links in the description to Best Buy because it, it, it popped up on my Best Buy app. So if there is a link to the website on Best Buy for this kit, I will put it in the description if you guys are interested. That is it. Thank you guys all for making it here this far. Please like and subscribe if you've gotten any value or entertainment from watching this video. Follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, everybody take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.